All right, guys, we are doing a after short after work trip. We came here the other day and we didn't figure them out till 10 minutes before dark where the red ears and bluegill were spawning. We couldn't find them the first two hours. By the time we figured it out, you couldn't see anymore and we caught about five or six real fast. So now that we know where they're at, now we got two good hours. So we're just using a red wiggler and a split shot and we're just throwing it out on the edge of the weed lines where they're spawning. They spawn deeper in this lake because of it being so clear. We're going to see if we can get some big bluegill and red ear today. So stay tuned. I'll turn back on in a minute. Alright guys, it did not take long to get on them. Second cast, got a nice hand-sized male bluegill. He hit it on the fall. I'm using real light jig heads and I hooked my red wigglers just in two places where it hangs down a lot and they can't resist it on that fall. Usually if you don't get a, a bite before it hits the bottom, you usually don't. It's a nice male bluegill. Yeah. Not bad. Alright guys, Wilma's on one. Another bluegill. It's not a bad one at all. Nice male. Yeah. Guys, it is starting to rain. That's about as big as they get in here, from what I've experienced anyway. Okay, I got moss on that time, so I went too far. And it's not bad at all. Yeah. Oh, God. He got, he got milk. Really? All right, guys, a milking male. Yep, sure is. I've never seen a bluegill milk before. Heck yeah. You're milky. Uh huh. After this one, this is small, whatever it is, it ain't even fighting hardly. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Red ear. Yep. All right, guys, first red ear of the day. We figured them out real quick because we figured them out the other day at the very end, like I said. So we knew exactly what to do. I had already planned on coming here since last Thursday. Just haven't made it yet with the holiday weekend and everything. Not a terrible red ear, about six, six and a half female red ear with the orange flat. Alright guys, I had to turn the camera off unfortunately because it was raining pretty hard. It finally lightened up a little bit. I just caught a nice, about an eight and a half, nine inch red ear, female. Real nine. short and long. Nine inch. And she caught a nine inch bluegill. <laughs> nice one. Take them, I guess. They're not horrible. I lost them. 
He came back. Oh, I got something big. This is a big one. I'm not kidding you. Oh my. There we go. Man, we're catching some big old red ears, man. Not Duck Creek ones, but that's not bad. He was on there for a while and I didn't know because he swallowed the hook. These are hard to get out with their tiny mouths too. He's 10, every bit of 10. That was on an old worm. That's a nice one for here, look. Huh? Gone? He parked over by us. He's off to the side. The guy's nice red air for this place anyway. It's probably 10. Nine and a half, 10. Eight and a half. All right, guys, not bad. Eight and a half. Fought hard. Give me a blue eyes. All right, guys, on something nice again. This time I'm using a blue eyes Bobby Garland tipped with a red wiggler. Oh man, what a beauty. That is a nice one. Yeah, that's a dark one. Look how dark it is. It almost looks like a hybrid, but it's not. That's a just a male, real dark spawning male. Man. I have seen them hybridized. That is a hybrid. That's a bluegill red ear. See how it's got the orange belly? And it's got the, you can see the bar, look at the bars going up and down. That's a bluegill red ear hybrid, guys. That is a one awesome fish. What a nice one. First cast on the Bobby Garland with a worm. You know how far I let it fall? Five seconds and reeled it in in the middle of the water. I wasn't dragging the bottom at all. something here they kind of slowed down a little bit but it was a small bluegill yeah Guys, she caught a 10 inch female right here.
Got him, finally. Missed this bastard four times. It's a nice one. Oh my, look at that. Oh man, God. Guys, I missed this male bluegill four times. I bet he's ever been a nine. Nice male though. It's a, I, I ain't bigger than that, so there ain't no point. Nice male bluegill. Not a bad one. I know the secret to it now, finally. What's working for me now, anyway. I let it fall about five seconds, then I reel it in for 30 feet, and then I just let it fall and something usually grabs it because something's seeing it by then. And nothing else really works. Not constantly reeling in don't work. Letting it fall and just setting don't work. I reel it in like I'm doing a crappie jig, but then I stop it after about 20, 30 feet and I just let it fall and then something usually picks it up. So I'm gonna call it quits here in a little bit. Yeah, we're catching the hell out of bluegill and red ear. Got one right now. Not bad, not giant, but not small. Just kind of eight to ten. Yeah. Oh, he splashed me. Oh man. Just get a lot of damn weeds on the hook, man. Every other cast is a weed. Even out in the very middle. You just gotta land in the right place. Hope you land in the right place. I decided what I'm gonna start doing, man, is going to the current river right there in the park after work. As long as I only see like one or two boats maybe or under, then I'll go. Just like every night, right before dark, the last hour, and try to catch walleye and smallmouth. Uh -oh. I bet if I do that, there he is. Got it. I was just reeling it in like a crappie jig. Red ear. <sighs> reeling in my worm like a lure. About four foot down. Instead of just letting it fall into the weeds, I'm keeping it above the weeds. That is a female again. Female red ear, guys. Not horrible, but not big. They just don't get big in this lake. It's fun to come to when you ain't got nowhere else to go or just want to get the itch out. That's about it. Bluegill. <clears throat> Female, about seven and a half, eight inches. Recording, I don't know for how long, but I just caught another red ear, guys. This water is really hot on the top, but this fish is cold on the bottom, so it explains why they're on the bottom. All right, guys, well, we're gonna head out of here. This is a work night, so I'd like to get home and take a shower and eat something. 
all in all we didn't have a bad day we caught a lot we caught good numbers just nothing real big i don't think i'm going to come back here for a while till next year just don't get no 11s if you got 11s i'd come back but